You are welcome to my channel. I'll be talking about Trazodone. Trazodone could come under different brand names like Apple Trazodone, Trazodone D, Dome Trazodone, Electro or Destro, PMS Trazodone, Asia Trazodone, Teva Trazodone, and so on. Belongs to the class of medications known as antidepressant. A serotonin reuptake inhibitor and a serotonin modulator. Is useful in treating dementia related aggression, insomnia, unipolar major depressive disorder, anxiety disorder, attention deficit and apprehensive disorder migraine prophylaxis. To discontinue this medication, you have to follow certain measures. Please do not discontinue this medication suddenly. No cold turkey here, please. We have to take it off very slowly. And that will take about two to four weeks. While switching to another antidepressant, we have to gradually discontinue the first medication and gradually increase the new one before finally stopping the first medication. We will then place the patient on the full dose of the new drug. But if the new drug is involving monoamine oxidase in beta, then 14 days must occur before we can completely now start another one. So it has to be 14 days between one of the oxidase in beta and trazodone, either to switch to or from. Trazodone can appear in various forms. Immediate release tablet aura as hydrochloride. In that case, we're going to find generic as 50 milligram, 100, 150, or 300 milligram. Still, as immediate release tablet aura hydrochloride, you can find generic at 75 milligram. But it might be tablet extended release that will cover 24 hours as or hydrochloride, and in that case, we are going to find electro 150 or 300 milligram. Administration. Immediate release, trazodone, could be given after a meal or light snack. It must be swollen whole. You can break it into half along the score line. The extended release is, however, different a bit. You can give it on an empty stomach, swallow on whole, half tablet could be given without food, and please break along the score line. No crushing, no chewing. Adverse reactions. Nausea, vomiting, perostomia, dizziness, blood vision, fatigue, hypertension, and syncope. Other adverse reactions are bradycardia or tachycardia, increased libido, preabsin, acute myocardial infarction, atrial fibrillation, arrhythmia, stroke, complete AV block, hyperetos, myalgia, tremor, high redness, dyspnea, or chest pain. Other side effects or adverse reactions could be syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, esotism, urinary retention, constipation, hepatotoxicity, leukocytosis, diplopia, and apnea. What are the possible contraindications? History of our sensitivity to trazodone or any of its formulation components. And we must not give trazodone 
within the first 14 days of the use of mono imine oxidase in beta. That's why I said the other time why switching is different from all other antidepressants when mono imine oxidase in beta is involved. We have to give two weeks either to switch to monoimazidase in vitos or switch from monoimazidase in vitos to trazodone, 14 days gap must exist. So it's a contraindication. We must not give trazodone within 14 days of stopping monoimazidase in vitos. And not in people using linezolic or medlin bull. One, this medication is not good for pediatric age group and young adults. And why that? There is likelihood of increased suicide in pediatric age group and young adults. Therefore, we have to be monitoring them if, you know, in any case, under any situation, they are taking trazodone. We look for signs features, characteristics of suicidal ideation. We encourage and we must encourage family members to keep an eye on them if young adults, adolescents are on this medication. Because of this, FDA has not approved the use of trazodone in pediatric age group. I think physicians should save themselves of the stress by looking for other medication and not use trazodone in younger age group. There's that likelihood of bleeding in anyone taking trazodone. So people with bleeding dyscrasia and will need trazodone then you need extra monitoring. Also, cardiac arrhythmia with prolonged QT is very possible. And if that is the case, prolonged QT can degenerate to Tazadi point. Tazadi point can go down the hill to become monomorphic ventricular tachycardia and can go further down the hill to become polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. If polymorphic ventricular tachycardia is not corrected, it can become ventricular fibrillation. Without defibrillation on time, that could degenerate to a systole. Without advanced cardiac life support instituted with code blue being caught on time, the affected individual could go into cardiac arrest and death. CNS depression is another issue, so anyone on trazodone should not operate machine. So they should not be driving the bus, taking the kids all around to the school, flying plane, and or sailor on the sea, or you no know, operating forklift. No. It may cause force, leading to osteoporotic fractures, particularly in the elderly and also fragility fracture. Ocular regions are not spared because ocular effects could be popularly dilatation. And also, autostatic hypotension or syncope could occur. Because of that, we need to monitor the blood pressure you know, periodically in anyone on this medication. Still a warning, we have to be very careful when we are placing some patient on trazodone because of preapresin. People with sickle cell disease, multiple myeloma, and leukemia are already predisposed to having preapresin. And if we place them on trazodone again, it's like double barrel. And also we have to watch out for serotonin syndrome because serotonin will accumulate and we might be dealing with syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone 
and Apple Nutrim. You can check my channel here for full details as per that. And this medication can precipitate mania and apple mania. So it is not prescribed for bipolar. Be cautious in renal impairment and schizo disorders. Drug drug interaction. I will leave that to a pharmacist and clinical pharmacologist in your jurisdiction. The reason is there's a long list and I cannot exhaust that right there. Electroconvulsive therapy and trazodone. Please, don't use trazodone if the patient must have ECT. So, you can discontinue trazodone before ECT. In pregnancy, it will be safer to contact your OBGYN or a pharmacist. Monitoring. We have to keep an eye on the status of the liver by having liver function tests done before drug administration. And also, we'll have liver function tests done while the patient is on this medication. Zeta radiation must be monitored before the therapy. And of course, we have to keep an eye on the probability of serotonin syndrome. We must monitor the blood pressure for hypotension and autostatic hypotension. Magnesium of action. Trazodone inhibits serotonin reuptake. It blocks H1 receptor. Blocks F1 adrenergic receptors. Can cause adrenoceptor subsensitivity and may act as a 5-HT2 receptor antagonist. Examples of situations where and when we can use trazodone will include insomnia. In this case, we should make use of immediate release form at 50 mg or less per hour at hour of sleep, mostly in elderly We'll start with about 12.5 milligram and you can increase gradually but the maximum dose expected here will be 200 milligram at hour of sleep so in any case of insomnia you can start as low as 12.5 milligram at hour of sleep and we cannot go beyond 200 milligram at hour of sleep in major depressive disorder, you can make use of extended release that will be given once daily. And in that case, we can give extended release 150 mg per hour at our sleep. And we can increase by 75 mg per day every three to five days. The maximum dose we can give here is 375 mg per day. But if we choose immediate release, we can give that twice daily. And that will be 50 mg immediate release per hour twice daily, and we can increase by 50 mg per day every three to seven days. The target will be 75 to 150 mg twice daily. We can increase later on by 50 to 100 mg per day every two to four weeks. But the maximum dose here could not, should not, and must not go beyond 600 mg day. And lastly, in dementia with aggression, we can use trazodone, immediate release at 25 mg per hour at our sleep. And we can increase this dose gradually. The maximum dose that can be given here is 300 mg per day in one to three divided doses. And with that, I've come to the end of this very presentation. Trazodone is a very helpful medication, but we have to be careful that we don't give excessive dosage, and particularly when we have to switch from monoamide oxidase in beta to trazodone, or trazodone to monoamide oxidase in beta, let there be two weeks in between. And also, anyone on it that will then go for ECT, 
discontinue this medication please and watch out for all the side effects monitor the blood pressure hypertension and autostatic hypertension all we want is to help that man that woman to feel better not to add to the problem thanks for listening remember to subscribe remember to share this very presentation i appreciate it